There are a lot of people who are happy about this. Show these tweets celebrating his death. Even people who call themselves journalists, Ken Klippenstein and Taylor Lorenz, tweeting about how bad a man he was the day he died. I Don't these people understand? Won't someone in their life, if these are their real names, explain to them? You are worse than what you oppose. It's not often that I say this, although I have been saying this with a little bit more regularity here lately. I am in 100% agreement with Chris Cuomo. Hey, it's me, Chrissy C. I damn sure never say this, but I'm also in 100% agreement with USA Today. Headline at USA Today. No one should be celebrating United Healthcare CEO death. What well, KC, was this article written by the Star Trek virgin Mike Freeman? No, I haven't heard much recently from the captain of the V squad. The last update I received about Mike Freeman from my inside sources, he was taking a sabbatical. He was on a journey. The end goal was still the same. He was still trying to be deflowered, but... He had given up on seducing Chewbacca. He had given up on R2-D2. He was traveling to Deep Space Nine to shoot his shot with Quark. Whether Mikey was successful or not, who knows, but my money is on the under. If there is one thing I detest more than anything, even more than the WNBA, and you guys know how I feel about the WNBA, I would rather have Mike Freeman give me a tour of the Death Star than be forced to watch a pretend basketball game in the dump. But if there's one thing I detest more than the WNBA... It is insurance. I am an equal opportunity hater when it comes to insurance. I don't like car insurance. I don't like homeowner's insurance. Homeowner's insurance. It is a complete ripoff. You'll be paying into your policy for years, maybe even decades. And as soon as a tree falls on your house and you actually need the insurance, the insurance company, they will refuse to pay because you don't have some obscure benefit on your policy. Hey there, Uncle KC, it's me, Ivan the Insurer. That's a nice looking tree in your living room, but I can't help you remove it. Unfortunately, you only have a wind policy on your plan. This tree was knocked over by the angry boodle breeze from the whoopee cushion on the view. Best of luck, you dumbass. I hate insurance. Hell, I don't even like warranties. The other day, I was buying something at Best Buy. It was a fire stick or something like that for my TV in the living room. One of my friends, he works at Best Buy part-time, and he asked me the required question at checkout. Do you want to purchase a protection plan for $10? I said, do you want to give me $10 for gracing you with my presence? Because... That's what you just asked me. Why would I give you $10 for air? I am an equal opportunity hater when it comes to scams. I mean, insurance. But if there is one insurance I hate more than any other, it is health insurance. Before I say what I'm about to say, let me just go ahead and get this out of the way. I have never worked in healthcare. I don't know shit about policy. I am not an expert. I base my opinion off of my own research and from what I have been told by people older than I am, who knows how things used to be in the insurance industry. I believe health insurance has played a critical role in the decline of the healthcare system, at least here in America. I think health insurance has caused prices to increase exponentially. I think the cost of health insurance is a complete ripoff. Before I got married, I did not have health insurance. Routine doctor's visits, minor things like the flu, blood pressure, going to the dentist, taking care of a lot of those things, it was cheaper when I didn't have health insurance. I could sit here for hours and talk about my disgust of the insurance industry. But as much as I detest the industry, I would never celebrate the death of the people working in it. Especially when it's something unexpected like what happened with United Healthcare CEO Brian Thompson this week. Unfortunately though, 
There are some in the woke media who don't have my level of decorum. There are some in the woke media who don't share the respect for humanity that I have. Now imagine my surprise. Just imagine my surprise. When I found out that the leader of this deplorable behavior was Taylor Lorenz. Tay Tay. If you haven't already, make sure to like and subscribe. You can follow me on Twitter at KC underscore BTL84. Link to the second channel in the description below. This morning on the second channel, we analyzed ratings in the NFL. I explained why I believe the NFL is losing interest or steam on a national level. So if you haven't already, be sure to subscribe to the second channel. Now, for those that don't know, United Healthcare CEO Brian Thompson, he was gunned down this week outside of his hotel in Manhattan. I'm sure some of you are also wondering, who in the hell is Taylor Lorenz? There are not enough words to describe the depravity of Taylor Lorenz. Combine the mentality of the Yentas on the view, multiply it times infinity, and you got Taylor Lorenz. We're talking the Yenta of Yentas. We have fun joking about the Yentas on The View, but I don't think they're bad women. The great pretender, Alyssa the Farrah Griffin, she's just confused. She's just trying to fit in with her surroundings. My favorite Yenta, Asuncion. Son Hostin says some dumb things. Son Hostin is insane politically, but I don't think Son Hostin is evil. The whoopee cushion. Well, you know, the whoopee cushion, she is just trying to spread holiday cheer through the fragrance of her boodle breeze. Even though I don't agree with them politically, I don't think the ladies on The View are bad people, bad women. There is a huge difference in disagreeing with someone politically and dealing with someone who celebrates tragedy, someone who is wicked. I'll let you decide for yourself which category Taylor Lorenz is in. Taylor Lorenz, she used to collect woke welfare from the Washington Post. Supposedly, she was their tech journalist, tech reporter. But Tay is most known for tracking down the creator of Lives of TikTok on Twitter and publicly revealing her identity. If I remember correctly... I think Taylor Lorenz was literally knocking on her front door. Of course, she was following all safety protocols. Before she trespassed on private property, Tay-Tay made sure that she was wearing her Fauci mask. The same Fauci mask that she wears to this day. We are damn near five years removed from the start of the COVID. Taylor Lorenz still wearing a Fauci mask. That alone should tell you all you need to know, but we'll keep going. A couple of months ago, she quit her job at the Washington Post. Now, Tay claimed that she was quitting because she wanted to start a blog on Substack. I think she quit because she knew she was about to get fired. Either way, she is no longer polluting the media with her poopery, and she has fallen out of the mainstream until now. Throughout the week, Taylor Lorenz has been spreading her misery on Blue Sky. Now, obviously, she chose to spread misery on Blue Sky because that's where all the misery is. I don't have screenshots because I don't have an account on Blue Sky for obvious reasons, but once she heard about the death of Brian Thompson, Taylor Lorenz quote tweeted something from Blue Cross Blue Shield and said, and people wonder why we want these insurance executives dead. That alone was bad enough, but it gets worse. She then quote tweeted a meme that said, CEO down. Where did the meme come from? Where did the image come from? It came from an article that Taylor Lorenz wrote on Substack titled, Why We Want Insurance Executives Dead. When other deplorables endorsed her sentiment, Taylor Lorenz sent out a tweet that said, I'm not alone. And unfortunately, she's right. Taylor Lorenz is not alone in her misery. I mean, seriously, how miserable do you have to be to celebrate something like this? How unhappy do you have to be with yourself? to celebrate a father and a husband being gunned down. Which, by the way, 
I'm pretty sure Taylor Lorenz is a vocal supporter of gun control, but it's strange. I have yet to see one tweet from Taylor Lorenz advocating for stricter gun laws this week. I wonder why. Now, Taylor Lorenz was not the only journalist in the woke media displaying her depravity. Some doofus named Ken Klippenstein celebrated by saying, Today we remember the legacy of United Healthcare CEO Brian Thompson. He included a graphic that showed the percentage of claims that were denied by United Healthcare. What the hell does that have to do with this? If, God forbid, something happened to Mark Cuban, would they tweet out the number of games that the Dallas Mavericks have lost? What is wrong with these people? You know you're wrong when even USA Today is calling out your depravity. There's a reason I think they are doing this on Blue Sky and not on Twitter. They know if they did this on Twitter, they would be held accountable. They knew if they did this on Twitter, they would be universally criticized, which is the reason deacons at Woke United Methodist have all moved to Blue Sky. All kidding aside, I feel bad for Taylor Lorenz. Earlier today, one of my friends called me just to catch up. We've known each other for 20 years, haven't talked in a while, so he was just calling to check in with me. When we were teenagers, his cousin used to stay on his ass all the time. His cousin would tell him he was messing up his life, he was on the wrong path, he wasn't going to amount to anything. At the time, his cousin wasn't wrong, he was right. Problem was... His cousin was on the same path that he was. But his cousin used to stay on his ass just to make himself feel better. But anyway, long story short, I asked him today how his cousin was doing. His life isn't exactly going well. During the conversation, my friend said something to the effect of, you know, looking back at it now, he was putting me down to make himself feel better. When I was messing up, when I was miserable, we were close, we were tight. But as soon as I got my life together, as soon as I was happy, he no longer wanted to be around me. Miserable people only want to be around other miserable people. One thing misery cannot stand Happiness, which is why the matriarch of misery, Taylor Lorenz, is on Blue Sky with the others who share in her misery. I don't get it. I don't get it. I don't understand it. How unhappy do you have to be with yourself to celebrate a tragedy? Give me your thoughts on this. Taylor Lorenz and others in the woke media, they display their depravity on Blue Sky by celebrating a tragedy. What's wrong with these people? Is it misery? Is it unhappiness? I don't know. I'm not a psychologist. You tell me. Sound off in the comments below. I'll see you guys tomorrow.